Hello friends, welcome back to Mute S Academy. Now in the last session, what we have done, we have created private space, we have extended our network, we have uploaded domain uh, TLS context, and we have uh, deployed one application from Maven to our private space. Then we have verified and validated our outbound traffic. Okay, so there is a firewall rule which allows only HTTPS traffic uh, for uh, outbound. Okay, so we have tested that in the last session. Okay, so I'll recommend to go through that session, how to create private space, how to deploy application via Maven and how to validate the uh, outbound firewall rules. Okay, now in this session, our intention is to, let's say, I'll, I'll quickly show you what is the use case I'm looking for. So if I go to my, so let's say I have multiple APIs, which are having public internet access. Okay, so let's say these are all our experience API. Now, so th these, these are accessible from public internet. Okay, I don't want to stop access for all the APIs. I wanted to stop access for some specific set of APIs, the public internet access. Now, this is not possible in cloud of 1.0, but this is possible. So I can select those APIs. Okay which I want to stop public access, okay? How I can do this, let me quickly show you now. So if you remember, I have mentioned that we can have multiple public uh, URLs for our application now, okay? Now to stop this public access, we can go ahead and delete all these public URLs. Now, if I go uh, to, uh, to our URL endpoints now, now if I trigger the other endpoint, which was there, right this one okay so i have not saved the changes applied now you'll be able to see that this url is not able to so it's not saved let it wait for apply the changes so once once you apply the changes it will get redeployed you can see that it's getting redeployed. Okay, now if I trigger this URL, it's not there. That means public access to that particular app is stopped now. So how can I access that app? So I wanted to keep that app private to my uh, my private space. So, so within the space, it should be accessible. Now, what's the what options we have to access that app? Okay. Along with our public URLs, okay, so we have in grace over here with the uh, any point of time can go ahead and add these public URLs, okay, there is no, uh, uh, you know, uh, rocket science, okay, so we can easily add this is this is not possible in cloud of 1.0. Okay, so we have flexibility here. Okay, now every every app associated with the private endpoint, let's let's copy this private endpoint, you can see here with and as I mentioned, okay, uh, in our private space, there is, if we go back, so we have public DNS as well as private DNS. So this is what, if you see, this is what the uh, DNS used for private URL. So let me copy that in our, uh, our notepad. So this is the URL and the endpoint, will be calling Google because user is not going to work because that that is getting blocked by our outbound firewall group. So directly I cannot access this. If I go ahead and trigger this URL, I won't be able to access it. Okay. So how to access this URL? Okay. So what we can do, we can simply go ahead and uh, we can create a simple mule application over here. Okay. And uh, I say private app access I find CS2. Okay, so let's go ahead and create simple.
okay so now i got it so what we can do we can drag listener over here and we'll drag the requester component from here okay any requester component we'll just configure that url i'll just put it here control v this url okay and now to access this we'll give simple whatever is default coming http and let's say this is we'll try to give something meaningful okay so why wait save everything i'll just bring this app to our my to our working site so if you save it and build the jar if everything is fine let's export it export it to our directory finish We'll go to our applications deploy upload the jar private app access <clears throat> give a name I, I don't want to change anything. Whatever is default, we'll go ahead and say deploy application. Okay. So just remember this resource path, private app. Control C. Okay. It's getting deployed. Let's wait for this. Okay, copy this URL and we'll build it here. Okay, we'll go ahead and once this app is the status is green, it's getting deployed. Once it's it's deployed. So meanwhile, let me recap what we have done. So we have one app deployed, okay, already. And what we have done, we have removed the public URLs for that app. And now we wanted to have access to that app. We'll be, we'll be using private endpoint, okay. And we cannot change the private endpoint, okay, so same uh we can access via vpns this endpoint via transit gateway and within this private space we can access this okay we cannot change this url but we can add multiple public endpoints okay so let's uh go quickly back to access okay it's it's working fine so we have created one simple app where we have a sleep requester component and we are trying to access the internal url of this app okay so let's go ahead and copy this url now and now if i go to my so this was not accessible right so let's control v new and if i say now it should give me output okay so this output is coming from my previous app which private url we are using within this uh this new app okay 
So that's how we can control the, the public access to our, our APIs, our selected APIs. So we can delete our public URL and start using the private URL. So that's all from this session. Hope you liked it. I recommend to watch other Cloud 2.0 sessions from my channel and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that you'll get uh, notification to the upcoming videos. Thank you.